What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. We are up to 975,778 coins in the bank. We're very close to hitting that milli mark for the first time, of course, selling that Manuel Petit that we packed uh, was good. Some stuff sold, not for as much as I thought it would with this uh, Hazard um, Player of the Month. I think... Uh, EA priced a lot of people out of doing it, and it's, it's caused a weird shift in how the market's reacted. However, um, I have got a lot of stuff on the trade pile, definitely over 25,000 coins worth. So we are eventually going to hit a million coins. Um, you can see here everything that's uh, on the trade pile. And if you guys didn't know, uh, we do um, Draft to Glory every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9 p.m. without fail. Doesn't matter what else is going on in FIFA or what else I'm uploading. We make sure to get it out on those specific days. So if you uh, love Draft of Glory, just be sure to tune in on those days. So here's a, a, the stuff in the club. Uh, you know, that Ryan card. I'm still holding on to this, man. I feel like there's going to be something for the Movember cards. We've got some good high-rated players um, for when they're going to be relevant in squad building challenges. And I'm sure they will be at one point or another. Uh, we have, uh, how many players was it? 291 players altogether, which is crazy that we've just stored. Even if we discarded them all for probably an average of 300 coins... That's what, an extra like 90,000 coins, so uh, just uh, unbelievable, uh, like genuinely unbelievable. Um, when we go and look at the My Club section, just to compare match coins and, and coins earned and such, which is uh, something that I like to do, you can see my club value is 52 million. My match earnings is now over 100,000. We've made over 100,000 coins just from playing the game. We've got 1.3 million coins transfer profits, so we have now made... 1.4 million coins on this draft of glory not taking into consideration what we've got stored in the club and not taking into consideration what we got on the transfer list so you know absolutely blown away by our luck on this uh, account again and, and we are getting super lucky the packs that we're picking up guys are just unreal apologies like i've got a little spot there it's, 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 sometimes it happens do you know what i mean right um what are we gonna go for here five two one two five three two i just I don't want to go five at the back today. I don't really want to go three at the back today either. I'm going to go four, one, two, one, two, narrow. It's going to um, like freeze out your Messi's, your Neymar's, your Ronaldo's, unless we get striker Ronaldo. Um, and look at that. It's, look. Why, when you take a narrow formation, does it give you four wingers and one striker? Now, you're forcing me into doing one of two things. You're forcing, you're forcing me to take Higuain. Or you're forcing me to take Messi, Ronaldo or Bale, throw him on the bench or use him off Kem. And if Ronaldo does go onto the bench, yeah, I'm actually going to take Ronaldo here and put him onto the bench. Um, because when we pick the striker, like, but, but the reason why I do this isn't because I necessarily want to use Ronaldo on the starting lineup or isn't necessarily because I think uh, we need him. But by taking Higuain, we've limited our chances up front and on the bench. By taking Ronaldo, we still have two really good chances to get Higuain or a better striker here that will actually better fit the team. And um, I'm going to go with Marcus Rashford on this one. And he's already got a Hawk card, which if I do get a spare Hunter card, I'll put it on him. But Hawk for Rashford isn't too bad. We get back Shawi there from the BPL and we get that in-form Romelu Lukaku. Now with a Hunter card or a Hawk card on Lukaku... He's unreal. I use his 84 card on my Road to Glory and it's amazing. So very happy and very excited to be able to use uh, his in-form card here. Come on, give me some BPL players. I mean, Steven Island is a BPL player and he has a Hunter card. So for chemistry reasons, that's not too bad. Like, give me the Yaya Torres, the De Bruyne's. This is what I want. I want the big players. I mean, Aaron Ramsey's not too bad. I mean, this team is like relatively picking itself. Uh, with Powerhouse, not the kind of uh, chem star. I'd probably give him a Maestro. Um, boost that dribbling, passing and shooting. But he's got a very well-rounded card. Uh, but I wouldn't mind the uh, the big, big guys from the... Uh, there we go. My God, EA, you are you're handing out the good players right now. Look at this. We get that De Bruyne. Four-star, four-star. Again, Maestro on him would be absolutely spectacular. He would get like 95 dribbling, 93 shooting, 95 passing. It would be amazing. He gets that strong link up there with Lukaku. All we really need is a better cam at this stage. And we are golden. Obviously, Ireland not the ideal candidate. Do we get a good CDM? I mean, we get Johan Kabai, who's not bad. Not the quickest. We could go for, like, Krajkoviak and, and hope that we get, like, uh, you know, the, the links that we need from PSG. But I'm going to take uh, Johan Kabai. And we're going to go for a full BPL team here today. Um, 
Wow, look at that. I could have actually taken... Well, it wouldn't have really made that much of a difference. What do I have here? Welsh, Belgian. Nothing here actually helps. So let's go for a chem style. None of these chem styles are really that interesting to me. Maybe catalyst for a midfielder. So we'll take Radu there just for the catalyst chem style. And we'll see what we move into. Now we do get a BPL defender, which again we're going to take. Um, just to get those links, just to make sure we've got a full BPL team available to us and we get that chemistry that we want. And in that note as well, we're going to take the other BPL centre-back. And I'm not... Oh, like if for, for as good as our attack is, if we end up having to use two garbage centre-backs, I'll be very upset. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to have a goalkeeper either. What do I have? Oh, man. Right, let's go and get the uh, chem style that I want, which is glove. So we'll take him just for the glove chem style. So the, 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 the attack and the midfield is unreal. The defense is so bad. Um, so hopefully we can uh, improve that defense a little bit here. Uh, we could take Zabaleta and play him at centre-back off chem. Or we could take Neymar and use him as a super sub. Or we could take Mertens. No, left. I was going to say starting, but we'll take uh, we'll take Neymar. He has a shadow chem style as well that we can throw on uh, one of those centre backs if need be. Uh, Victor Wanyama there, Antonio Valencia. See now, I'm actually tempted to take Valencia and put Sanya at left back and Valencia at right back because Valencia will still get um, seven chem over here. Oh, we actually lose chem, so let's let's keep him at left back on three chem because of the team chemistry is going to be 100. He he will actually get. Um, He'll actually get like base stats plus a little boost. Although now that we have uh, Holobas, Holobas has actually got a very decent card. So we're going to take Holobas. I don't know why he's not shiny. It doesn't make sense to me. I'll throw Holobas in there and I'm actually going to throw uh, Valencia in the in the, the back line, in a centre back. Because I would much prefer him off chem than the guys that we've got on chem. Uh, Sandro there. I might take him for a good defensive option on the bench. In fact, I'm going to. We've got we've got great attacking options already on the bench. So Sandro for a good defensive option. Luke Shaw is perfect for us. Or is Joe Hart the guy we go for? Joe Hart. I mean, Joe Hart doesn't link anyway. We'd need to get like the the correct um, the correct players. But uh, now we've got Valencia. Look, Valencia as a super sub would be amazing anyway. So Valencia, Neymar, Ronaldo, and Sandro as subs. I don't mind this defense. We definitely need a goalkeeper. Um, th this is th like this is a defining factor within the uh, within the draw. Oh my god! Yes, EA. Yes, you are just handing out the superstars for me right now, and I am very very happy. Let's see if we can get a good centre back. We get Leighton Baines, which I could use. I mean, do we have any Spanish players to link him with? We just don't. <sighs> Logic dictates that we take Leighton Baines and we put him in at centre-back or we put him in at left-back or we put Shaw at left-back and get rid of the uh, Leicester guy. Or we could take Sergio Ramos and just sub him on in at centre-back. But that means we're wasting a sub straight away for the players that we've got. What would you guys do here? What would you do? I don't, I, I'm in two minds as whether to take Baines or Ramos. I mean, we already have a good left back in Luke Shaw. Holobas is also actually a decent left back. The centre back isn't too bad to the point where Baines on 7 chem would probably be worse. So I'm going to take Sergio Ramos and, and have him as a, a sub in the team. Um, or if we can, like, see, now that... Now, wow. Um, now, I'm, now I'm tempted to take Jordi Alba as well. Because we could... Uh, we could get them both on 7 chem and Alba and Ramos on 7 chem, in my opinion, would be better than uh, the two left-hand sided players we have. So I'm going to throw them into the team. I'm going to have to be, be careful with the uh, chem styles that I do here as well. We're going to have to be uh, pretty uh, pretty funny with those. Um, let's take Mane. Would he be a good sub? Yeah, a good sub. Might should have taken maybe that Hunter chem style, but I already have quite a few of them anyway. And then we're going to take... Wow. If our last choice is the silver... I will be very upset. Right, I need to do chem styles now because I've only got one pick left. So we want to put Hunter up on Rashford. I want to put Hunter on Lukaku. Do we have any maestros? I don't have maestro at all. So I'm going to put Catalyst on the cam. 
Um, I think I'll keep Architect on De Bruyne. And I'll give... Uh, I want to put Anchor on there. Do we have any Shadows? Right, I want to put Shadow there. I'll, I'm happy on Anchor on the right back. Hawk. Actually, I want to give Hawk to De Bruyne. So Hunter, Hunter, Catalyst, Powerhouse. I don't really want Powerhouse on him. Um, I, maybe we'll give a uh, Catalyst to Ramsey. We already have a glove on the goalkeeper. So Shadow, Sentinel. Oh, I don't know about Sentinel. I'd, I'd actually rather that and put Anchor on. Well, actually, it's going to be Jordi Alba with Anchor. Because I'm going to play those two. Even if it's off chem, I'm going to play those two. And then I don't need, uh, I don't need Shadow on Ramos. So we'll put Shadow on... Um, Sanya. So the last player is so Hawk for De Bruyne, anchor for um, what's his name? Uh, um, what is his name? Kabai. Catalyst for Ramsey. Catalyst for the Cam, who I don't know is going to be yet. Stephen Island probably. Um, and then Hunter for the two boys up front, Lukaku and uh, what's his name? And I might I might put in I might put Valencia at Cam off Cam because he just might be better than Stephen Island. And this is something that I want to show you guys. Let me just make sure I've got everything available to me here that I want. Right, so the last pick, quite an important pick, depending on who we get and what chem style we get. So we get Bruma, we get uh, Danny Ings, we get some Hunters and some Dead Eyes. Not really interested in any of that. And I'm actually going to pick. I'm going to pick Danny Ings. We're going to throw throw Danny Ings in there. So that's the team complete. Now, one thing that I want to do, and I'm going to take a second away from the camera to show this, is show you guys. The difference between um, Steven Island on whatever chem he's going to get versus uh, Valencia on whatever chem he would get at cam or a centre midfield because I could put Valencia at centre midfield and De Bruyne up front. That would also uh, that would also work. Um, and I just want to kind of show you guys how it works and why I do what I do. Where is Ramos? There is Ramos. Um, Kabai Island. Sort those two around. Who's my midfielder here? Aaron Ramsey. Uh, where is Ramsey? There's Rambo. Uh, that puts us to 92 chem. Did I have a BPL centre-back? I mean, I had two BPL centre-backs, but not really ones that I want to use. Um, I want to get the best out of this team, really. It's crazy that I gained chemistry there. Um, it, it does. It, it, it's illogical, isn't it, a little bit, to... Uh, to not start with 100 chem. Let me see what I can get for a rating first. Because if I can make this my highest rated draft, I will. Uh, who's my left back? Holobas um, goes in there. That takes us up to a 100 chem team, which I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. Let's put Ram Moss in there. Let's take off Danny Ings for Alexandro. Are we going to get a high rated team here? I don't think we are. It's because of Steven Island. Um, so it's a 185, which isn't great. So if I did have Alba... And Ramos in. We go down to 92 chem. Um, if we did that and then that. So Ramsey's just not going to get the chemistry, is he? Ramsey's just not going to get... Oh, wait. that Yeah, no. that That's better. Although I wouldn't probably like Ramsey in a, a cam. De Bruyne on cam, perfect. That That's, that's kind of much more interesting to me. Um, do we do... No, that doesn't work. Courtois on seven chem. I'm not overly keen on Courtois on seven chem. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna disappear real quick, guys, and uh, show you. Actually, before I do that, I wanna let me put these. Let me put these dudes back because I put the chem styles for these individuals. Um, so I'm gonna pick the manager now. I'm gonna want to get a BPL manager. I'm not gonna get 100 chem on the team. I want ideally a Spanish BPL manager. There's a Spanish manager. There's not even a BPL manager here. So we'll take uh, Matri there. We'll give Alba and Ramos eight chemistry, which is solid. Uh, it's going to be like a, what, a 170, some, 180 something. 178. That's not too bad. 93 chemistry we're up to. Jordi Alba's on perfect chem. Now, I want to show you guys uh, the difference between Steven Island on 10 chem in a 93 chem team and Antonio Valencia on 3 chem. No, that's not going to work. Does that work? Yeah, you get six chem there. And then if we swap those around, that's much better. Yeah. So I want to show you guys the difference between 
Valencia on 6 chem in a 91 chem team versus Ireland on 10 chem in a 93 chem team. And we're going to see it on the screen now. So guys, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to have to look at these differently. The, the, the individual ratings for these two dudes... Valencia, sorry, Ireland has 72 pace to Valencia's 86, and this is on their respective chemistries with their respective chem style boosts. Ireland has 76 dribbling to Valencia's 82. Ireland has 67 shooting to the Valencia's 72. Ireland has 46 defending to 80, 83 passing to 84, and 60 physical to 90. It's clear that Valencia off chem in a 91 chem team is head and shoulders better than Steven Island on chem in this team. In the same vein, I want to show you Jordi Alba versus uh, Holibas with their respective chemistries and the team chem because Holibas would be in a 100 chem team, whereas Jordi Alba is on... In fact, Jordi Alba is on perfect chem, so he doesn't count. So let's show Sergio Ramos um, versus uh, Bena Luan. Sergio Ramos versus Ben Luan with their specific chem styles. I would, I would like they would both have anchor, so you know, it'd be so it'd be Bella, Ben Luan with anchor on 10 chem in a 100 chem team versus Sergio Ramos with 8 chem in a 91 chem team. Let me show you those as well. So as you can see on the screen, guys, Ramos has seven more pace, 16 more dribbling, 24 more shooting, 13 more passing. And then for defending and physical, he still has 10 more defending and 4 more physical, even though he's on a lower chem in a lower chem team. And this is where I think a lot of people don't understand how the chemistry works and why it's specifically important. And more importantly, why a lot of people wonder how they get beaten by low chem teams. The difference isn't always... like Chemistry is important in so many ways that Sergio Ramos in this 91 chem team on 8 chem is just better than Ben Luan off chem, uh, sorry, on perfect chem with the anchor style. He's, he's just better. And when we look at uh, Luke Shaw, I've got um, Guardian on Luke Shaw here, which is actually a pretty decent thing because he's on four chemistry in a 91 chem team. Let me have a look at uh, Luke Shaw and what happens to him on four chemistry. I apologize that the intro here is going to be uh, really long as well. It wasn't my intention. So Luke Shaw on four chem, what has he got? He's got um, Guardian as his uh, as his chem style. So he still gets, he, he actually gets his card stats exactly the same, but he gets a plus one dribbling and a plus one defending. So his defending still goes up, his dribbling still goes up, he's six foot one inches tall as well. I think he's going to be a great card to have. If I put a better chem style on him, he would have been even better, but I messed up the chem styles with him. But this team, guys, for me is clear as day the better team than putting the full BPL team together. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the intro. This is the team. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, so as we go into the gameplay, the first opponent we'll come up against has an 84 chem, 86 rated super team. Neymar, Messi, Inform Aubameyang, Inform Robben, uh, Movember Matuidi, Paolo Maldini. Yes, okay, his centre-back's not ideal, but he does have... Chem styles changed to boost players in the right areas. Shadow on both his centre backs, Hunter on his attacker. It's a solid, uh, a solid team. So I came up. Obviously, I've got a pretty good team. Not gonna lie, I think, I think my team is very, very nice indeed. Uh, we lack a little bit in the chem department, but as discussed, uh, you know, setting the team up. Um, I personally don't believe that to be too much of a problem. And we start things off with a really nice one-two between Rashford and Lukaku, and then eventually Lukaku gets in himself. Turns around, what a shot. I, I, like, I want to use that Lukaku. The problem is now, because of this POTM Hazard squad builder challenge, uh, it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to afford him on my, uh, my, my road to glory, which is a shame because I could have bought him for 110 a couple of days ago. Now he's like 300k. He's just, I've, I've been priced out. And uh, I've never used him before, but I've used his regular card, and I love his regular card. So I wanted to test out this in form today, and it is just unreal. Now, I only showed three goals there in spite of the fact I won 9-0 because although my opponent wasn't scoring own goals, as you can see by the goals and assists shown right there, he wasn't really playing well. He was playing the whole time, but he was like all out attack. He, like a couple of times he put the ball at his keeper's feet and tried to dribble up with his keeper and score. And I'd just nick the ball and shoot, you know, run down the other end and shoot and score. So I didn't want to bore you guys with like genuinely boring goals. It wasn't competitive gameplay. It wasn't a close game. It was boring. The next opponent will come up against another super team. Inform Bale, Inform Gundogan, Inform Coutinho, another Paolo Maldini, Steve Mandanda, Inform Alduareld. 
Turan, uh, who's amazing. Uh, Danilo at right back. Like, this team is so good. I didn't know what to make of it. However, saw his chem styles. I was like, okay, he's got Shadow on Slamani. He's, you know, he doesn't have the right chem styles. And I know so, I, I know, I mention it a lot. Um, and I know some people just don't agree with me and don't believe in the chem styles. But I personally do believe in them. I believe in their value. I believe they make a big impact of how players play. And... Um, Ultimately, I, I think they're very important. And we went 1-0 down to a, a pretty nice Slomani goal. We kind of bounced through my defence a little bit. I got really lucky to intercept my opponent's free kick. Slide that away to uh, Lukaku. Lukaku puts it in the back of the net to make it 1-1. But this is our second super team now. And uh, it was nice to get back on terms because I, I like even though I felt like I was the better player here, you, you guys know how FIFA can be. Sometimes you could be head and shoulders a better player and, and just not get the bounces or the breaks to get the goals that you need. However, we got ourselves back into the game and then Lukaku scores again to make it 2-1. And at 2-1, I was very comfortable. I was very confident I was going to go through to the next round. And we eventually got a third goal as well. Aaron Ramsey here waits for the run of Lukaku. He gets through. And this is why I think Lukaku is unreal. Watch this finish. He just slams that one into the back of the net. It's still rising as it hits the net. It was a brilliant finish. We go 3-1 up and then later on into the game, De Bruyne here picks up the loose ball. I didn't really see him much. Like, I'm, I'm happy I never really focused on buying him or his inform in um, in my road to glory because I, I wasn't impressed with inform De Bruyne. Those of you that have used him in the past, what do you think about him? I personally wasn't impressed. I thought Antonio Valencia was amazing, by the way. I really, really, really enjoyed playing with him. Didn't really see De Bruyne much. Ramsey was a bit hit and miss. Um, and uh, in, in CDM, Kabayi was fantastic. So we go through 4-1, guys, into the semi-final. We've been choking in the semi-final a lot recently, so I wanted to make sure I made my way into the final, but we come up against another super team. Screamer uh, Adariz, legend, couple of decent CDMs, not amazing. Koscielny, Inform, uh, Hugo Lloris, Bellerin, uh, Iago Aspas and um, uh, Asensio there, but this guy brought on Messi and Ronaldo relatively quick to his team. I couldn't tell you who he subbed off. I would assume Aspas... And um, uh, Asensio were the two that he subbed off, but I couldn't tell you for sure. But we were already in the lead here, and Lukaku plays the through ball through to um, to Antonio Valencia, who scores. You know, he scored and got uh, many assists for us so far this tournament, and I found it to be really good. And then we end up getting a second goal, not too short after either. Kabayi into Lukaku, Lukaku to Rashford. Beautiful bit of work there from Rashford. Finds the run of Kabayi. I don't know what he's doing up there from CDM, but we go 2-0 to the good. On the stroke of half-time, my opponent, or actually just after the stroke of half-time, my opponent got into the box with Rui Costa, cuts it across. There is that Lionel Messi that I told you he brought on, and boom, he pulls it back to 2-1. However, I was always uh, dominating this game. I wasn't really in, uh, in any trouble, even at 2-1. De Bruyne finds Lukaku. Lukaku has a shot from 20 yards out and flies that one into the back of the net. A brilliant, brilliant finish and a great goal from him. And then late on into the game, I steal the ball from my opponent's free kick. He's all out of attack. He's trying to get back into the game. I bring, I've bring. i got a fresh Neymar on the field. I give, him, uh, give him the ball. Fake shot. I let Bellerin run past him. Lovely little one-two there. Absolutely unnecessary one-two. Could have shot earlier. He actually tackled me perfectly and the ball bounced back to me. And I got fortunate to get the goal. But I end up winning 4-1, guys. And we send ourselves in to our first final in about six drafts. So I was happy to be in the final. Um, obviously, I want to win the draft. But uh, more, more importantly, I, I just want to make sure I'm winning and doing good things in this draft. And into the final we go. And we come up against our fourth absolute super team. He has got himself a 186. Inform Bale, Ronaldo, Suarez, Desai. He's got the right chem styles on. He's got DeMarcos, who's a brilliant uh, player. He's got the Movember Matuidi. Kazawa, who's pretty decent with a shadow. He's got Sidigu, who's actually a great, uh, a great goalkeeper. And, you know, I said earlier on in uh, the gameplay clips, sometimes you can be dominating a guy or just be really unlucky and not get the lucky breaks. And this was a game for me where the lucky breaks didn't come my way, but did go my opponent's way. I put Ramsey through there, and you can see, if you actually just rewind the clip 10 seconds... Ramsey like is on to get the ball and then he just veers away from it. Like like why? <laughs> I thought I was clean through on goal with Ramsey as a beautiful through ball, perfectly weighted for him, and then he just starts running away from the angle of the ball and the keeper just casually comes out and gets it. Off the back of that, my opponent there gets in with Suarez, two defenders on him, doesn't make any difference. A long shot that flies into the back of the net and I find myself 1-0 down. Shortly after that goal, I get through, very shortly after that goal, I get through here with Lukaku. The ball falls to my midfielder, Lukaku into Ramsey. Ramsey's about to shoot, gets taken down from behind. The referee gives no pen. 
I would have scored if he didn't foul me, and it should have been a penalty, he wasn't given, and then he hits just another Randy long shot that goes in the back of the net, and at this point, it is GG, you know, two long shots, two goals, I'm still trying, I'm still plugging my way through, uh, we've got Lukaku here, puts Alexandro on as a sub, through on goal, cuts the angle really nicely, gets the perfect shot opportunity for the driven low shot, sends it wide of the goal, and then I tackle him perfectly again in the box, and just, that, that's, that's the bad luck, that, you know, sometimes those sort of things go for you, Sometimes they go against you and uh, fair play to my opponent. He, you know, he did a great job, scored some nice goals. Uh, even though they were long shots, you don't really have control over whether they're good goals or bad goals when they're long shots. They either go in or the keeper saves them. It's more to do with the AI to do it than to do with your personal uh, kind of skill level. Um, but uh, although my opponent held possession very well and created more chances, I still felt a little bit bitter um, about the way that I lost that game. You probably look at those stats and think that he dominated. But that is the end of the gameplay though, guys. Let's get into the pack. So guys, we lose in the final in today's episode. I'm so triggered, man, honestly. I know it like the match stats look like that guy destroyed me. This is one of those games where I wish I could show you the whole game, but it would just make the video too long because my own players several times in that game, and it's my fault for picking the wrong passes, but it's, it, you know, nonetheless, it's frustrating. My own players kept intercepting my through balls, putting Lukaku, Rashford, and then eventually Ronaldo and Neymar through. And it was ridiculous. I had a couple of chances early on before he scored. Once where I put Ramsey through, and of course, the through ball goes perfectly to his keeper and just inches away from Ramsey. And then at 1-0 to my opponent after his just really, I don't know, like, tell me how you felt about his Suarez goal in that, in that final game. Because for me, I read it and I covered the angles, but the shot got put away anyway. He actually did a skill move the wrong way and got the goal. But after that, I was literally through with Ramsey. I was about to shoot. In my opinion, it would have been a goal. He takes me out from behind and the ref gives no pen. And that, that, just, that actually put me on tilt to the point where it just caused me the game. Um, his second goal, just a, a randy long shot, didn't really you know, require much skill. And then his Gareth Bale goal that put the game to bed after Alexandro, I'm going to try and put the, the thing in. Alexandro went through, great opportunity to score, missed an easy shot, would have been back to 2-1 potentially in the game. Uh, you know, Then he gets just a really lucky bounce with Gareth Bale. And I know it's me being, I know I'm being salty right now. And I know the, the match stats, you know, he had huge possession over me, he had more shots than me, and he scored more goals than me. Like, if, when you put those things together, you say, ah, oh, he, he deserved to win, he played a better game. But the, the context of the game just wasn't that. And if you look at his, the match stats, when I showed you guys the actual match stats at the end of the game, most of his shots were from way, way out. Like, you know, only one or two were from inside the box. But uh, we get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and a Gold Players Pack. Hey, we've, uh, we've, you know, we've been in, a, in bad situations before and got really good rewards here. It doesn't look like it. We're going to get a, a player that's probably not worth anything. Um, we get... Uh, I'll save all of these. I might go and look at the... F wow, we've actually got a couple of French League ones, guys. Uh, let's send him back down. Let's send him back down. I'll send those guys up to the trade pile and sell them. Um, so let me store those ones to the club. I don't have much space on the trade pile right now. Uh, he might sell. These will sell. Oh, Shadow Chem Style is not bad either. We'll send all out to the trade pile. Um... Uh, the basic goalkeeper chem style doesn't sell. We'll discard those ones. But uh, anyway, guys, a final performance. I, I was, I'm happy to get to the final after the uh, the run of bad luck we've got. You know, we're back in the final. Hopefully that boost is on in the next episode. As I say, I, I know I know it's me being salty. And I know there's probably a lot of people that just say, oh, you bitch, you moan. And, and I don't mean to bitch and moan. I've just, as you guys probably know, it, this game can be ultimately frustrating. And at times, even though you deserve to lose, you feel like you may deserve better or more out of the game. I don't think it was a 4-0 game. I, f I feel like I just played uh, I just played really poorly and, and I was playing such good FIFA the whole time around. 9-0, 4-1, 4-1 to then go and get spanked 4-0. It was crazy. But here is our premium gold players pack. We are not getting lucky today, guys. We're going to get Sacco in the pack. It doesn't sell for anything um, unless we get uh, like ridiculously lucky. There, there, there's, there's nothing here. And, and of the dudes in the pack as well... Um, I'm going to dis... I'll actually sell Almeida, send Almeida to the trade box. He'll sell for 800, but the other two guys just don't sell for anything. Um, so we started with 975,000 coins. We're back up to 970,000 coins. Of course, a lot of these items have sold now. Um, we'll take a brief look at what sold. A few contracts, fitness cards, a few of the players went, which is nice. Um, not really for that much, mind, but uh, they're, they're selling, which is good enough. And uh, that, guys, is going to signal the end of the episode. If you did enjoy the episode today, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.